Today, Ancient Explorers, the koala will be our guide as we take yet again another creative adventure. Often affectionately called the koala bear, the animal is in fact not a bear but a marsupial. Its closest relative is another stocky and virtually tailless animal called the wombat. Native to Australia, the large animal lives high in the gum trees. Koalas are slow and love to sleep. Their sloth-like nature is because of their diet, which consists solely of eucalyptus leaves, and these are hard to digest. As the leaves are usually moist, the animal doesn't often need to drink water. Koalas are often up with the owls. They are nocturnal, meaning they are mostly active at night. On the hunt for leaves, the animal will move up and down the trees. The animal has a large appetite and can eat up to one kilo of leaves every single day. As it consumes a large amount of leaves, the animal will often live in two or three different gum trees. A great listener, the koala has very sensitive ears. It also has a great sense of smell and uses this to select the finest leaves to eat. The koala is a fussy eater. While there are 700 species of eucalyptus growing in Australia, the animal only eats leaves from around 50 types. This means that to look after the animal, we also need to take care of its habitat, especially the trees that it prefers to eat from. While the koala may look cute and cuddly, it is not in fact very sociable. It only tends to hang out with other koalas during breeding season. And when male koalas wish to attract a female, they will belch and make other loud sounds. A baby koala or joey is usually born 35 days after mating and it is tiny. It is the size of a kidney bean. With its eyes still closed, the joey will live inside of its mother's pouch for the next 13 weeks, feeding from its mother's teat. And several months before its first birthday, the joey will begin to climb on its mother's back. In the devastating bushfires of 2020, many koalas lost their lives. It is estimated that in the state of New South Wales alone, 71% of the koala populations died. Now with the population numbers dangerously low, it is vital that we all do what we can to help the animal. In the description box below, Ancient Explorers, I have added names and links to organisations who are working to help the koala. I've also added other things that you can do to help. No matter how big or small we are, we can always do something to help. If you would like to learn more about the koala, also make sure that you check out Bush Heritage Australia's website. Now in celebration of this beautiful animal, I invite you to create art with me. During this activity, I will use the colouring in sheet I designed especially for it. You can also download it for free from my website. All of my details are in the description box below. When I was planning this creative adventure for you, I had it in my mind that we would paint the koala in watercolour. The adventure soon changed direction and what I'm offering you today is a mixed media activity. 
as I was reminded this week, it is important to listen to your intuition, play, follow wonder, and have fun. It is also important to be kind and patient with yourself while creating. So now, let us begin our creative adventure with the koala as our guide. For this mixed media activity, we'll be using a range of materials. For the koala, I will be using heavy weighted watercolour paper, so paper that is heavier than 180 GSM, watercolour paint. You can paint the koala whatever colour you'd like. I will be using neutral tint. You will also need a round tip paintbrush. Paper towel will also come in handy. And of course you will need a jar of clean water. And then to create the background, you will need acrylic paint. I will be using green, white and brown paint, a roller and also scissors. You are more than welcome to draw the koala any way that you wish. You may like to consult reference photos. There are some incredible photos on Unsplash. If you would like to trace my colouring in page, as I do in this video, you will also need tracing or baking paper. We will begin first by tracing the koala. Place a sheet of tracing or baking paper over the koala and then with a pencil, trace the drawing. Now that we've traced the drawing, we're going to turn it over and shade over the top of the lines. Try and make your shading even and quite dark. The next stage involves transferring the koala to watercolour paper. With masking tape, I've taped the watercolour paper down to a board. You don't have to do this, but it just helps to hold the paper in place. Now place the tracing the right way up and with a pencil once again, trace the lines. Take your time, do this mindfully and make sure that you press down firmly with your pencil, not too much to avoid piercing the tracing paper. Once you've drawn all of the lines, lift the tracing paper up. You will notice that the transfer is light and if you need to, go over the lines with your pencil. We will now paint the first layer with watercolour paint. With your paintbrush, apply a clean layer of water in all parts of the head except for the nose, chin and a small area around the eye. Add a small amount of water to your chosen watercolour paint. I am using neutral tint and that is because it isn't quite grey, it has a slight blue tone to it which I really like. We want this first layer to be light so only add a small amount of paint to the water. Then when you're ready load your brush and apply the light layer to the koala's head. Now sprinkle a small amount of table salt over the areas where you've applied paint. As the salt dries, it will create an unusual effect. This effect will help us capture the woolly nature of the koala's fur. Now we're going to repeat the same method. First apply a layer of clean water, focusing on the koala's torso. Then apply paint to this wet layer. As you will notice, I'm allowing the contours of the koala to guide my brush. painting 
painting the first layer, put the painting aside to dry. Once the painting is completely dry, it is time to apply the second layer. During this second application, I'm focusing on certain areas, such as the darker areas around the ears, under the eye, and under the chin of the koala. If paint goes in areas where you don't want it to, just simply grab paper towel and mop it up. Now turning to the nose, we repeat the same sequence. First add a layer of clean water and then paint. dropping a little bit more paint on the right side of the nose and this is because there is a highlight on the left side. Then finally, with a gentle and even stroke, paint the eye. At this point Ancient Explorers, a strange feeling came over me, and as I put the koala down to dry, I realised that I wanted to change materials and technique. You may continue with the watercolour painting, or join me for the next stage of the adventure. Once the painting is dry, cut the koala out with scissors. Then grab a pencil. With small strokes we're going to draw the fur of the koala. I'm first focusing on the areas on the head of the koala which will be the darkest. For these areas I will need to add more than one layer of pencil. to the koala's nose. For the next stage of our creative adventure, you will need three pieces of heavy weighted paper, a roller, green, white and brown acrylic paint. We will now paint two sheets of paper with the green and white acrylic paint. Dab small amounts of the paint onto the sheet and then with your roller, spread them out across it. Then repeat the sequence again, but this time with the brown paint. 
then put the sheets aside to dry. Once the paper is dry, choose one of the green sheets of paper that you've painted. That will be your background for the scene. Next, take your brown sheet of paper and cut two long lengths. These will represent the trunks of the gum tree. Once you're happy with the shape and the position of the trunks, glue them to the green background. Now glue the koala down. And finally, with your second sheet of green paper, cut out leaves. Play around with the leaves and decide where you want them to sit. And then once you're ready, glue them down. So there you go, ancient explorers. We have created a sleeping koala in the gum tree. I hope you've enjoyed this activity. I look forward to creating with you again really soon. Ciao.